Hey everyone, it's Lethalogica X. Welcome back to another challenge lock video. So today I have with me number 44, pinned up by Jeffrey Post. Uh, before I get picking, full disclaimer, I have practiced the crud out of this lock. This lock was actually extremely difficult to pick, up until I looked at the key. We're actually going to start with that this time. As you can see, the bidding on this key is very tame as far as challenge locks go. And I think that's what contributed to its difficulty. I was expecting more of a roller coaster. Anyway, so that got me thinking, uh, I wonder if this lock can be raked or rocked open. And it turns out the answer to that question is yes. So I'm going to attempt to demonstrate that first and then I will single pin pick it afterwards. So I'm just going to take the back of a pick here, and just like that, we got it open. But of course, you guys don't want to see that, that's boring. So I'm going to single pin pick this lock now. So we'll do top of the keyway tension for that, and of course my favorite pick. And we'll see what we got. So I got a bit of a click on three there. Got some counter rotation on four. Uh, I think I got a bit of a click on five, but I might have lost some pins there. I think that's set. Number four is giving me counter rotation again. I think three is set. Got a bit of a click on two. Counter rotation on one. some binding on two again and we got it open holy cow that was fast yeah it just goes to show you what happens when you practice a lock uh, normally I would sit in a very deep false set for a very long time on this lock and I have a feeling it's got some trap pins built into it So yes, I'm kind of sorry for uh, practicing this lock so much, but I was probably going to be here for 20 minutes trying to pick this lock if it wasn't for practicing it. And normally it still takes like 5 to 10 minutes in one of my practice sessions. This one was actually remarkably fast though. So, better stick a shim in that first. This one has a really wide lip and I really don't want to potential like T-pin or something falling down into there. Okay, that looks good, and we'll see if this is the right size follower. Yep, that works good. Awesome. Okay. So there's number one. Number two, number three, oh, I can already see some dastardly pins. Four and five, holy cow, Jeffrey. Okay, grab my pliers here. Okay, whoop. Number one got away from me a little bit there. There's number one. Dump out his spring. All of them are getting away from me. Come on. There we go, number two. Come on, spring. Get out of there. There we go. We might have all the same springs in here. But it's always best to dump them out one at a time just to be safe. Oh, that one was definitely the other way around. And we'll get the rest of them out from the back here. Uh, 
That would be number five. Get his spring out. And there is number four. Okay. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get the camera to see it. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Yeah, it's really hard to see through the camera, but uh, some of those chambers are threaded, actually. Uh, I think he pried off this top cap here in order to, uh, to uh, thread them. Not exactly sure how to get that off without bending it. I really don't want to accidentally destroy this just to get a better view of them, but uh, it looks like chambers 2, 3, and 4 are threaded in the Bible. And in the core, we have threading on 1, 2, and 5. There is no counter milling on three and four. Okay. Back to table focus and we'll pop up a picture like usual. Got some very excellent pins and uh, lots of nasty, nasty key pins in there. This definitely explains the overset traps got some very elaborate pin work on uh, key pins 3, 4, and 5. The first key pin is kind of more of like a T pin. Second key pin has serrations on it and lots of various spools and serrations on all of the driver pins. Um, there was actually a different spring in here, so it was a good thing I dumped them out one by one. Number four has a copper spring. The rest of them all have, by the looks of it, the exact same steel spring. Anyway, that is about all I have on this lock, so if you like what you saw, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and don't forget to have a good one.